welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you are enjoying so far. I am here at last. Got here last night. After uh, a lot of distraction. Which anyone who's playing this game will be able to, yeah, tell you that this is a common thing. Yeah, I um, got up today. Early. So, since I've had breakfast and stuff, I figured, ah, uh, let's, let's play some Zeld. Uh, I should get the tower first. I'm gonna go look for the tower. as we look at this new Death Mountain area. Oh. Mr. President! What have we got? Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Alright, let's do that. gonna have it rest against it and perfectly hold it up. There we go. Ah! Oh, is the president standing? That's a good reward. Very good reward. Huh. Pay half the price. Yeah. Whether you know this coast or offering rock bottom prices. <laughs> hey Malus. Long time no see. Good luck on the adventures. Thank you. Yeah. I mean <laughs> it took me three days to get here. For three days I was saying, yeah, I'll, I'll get to this area, and I just, along the way, just distractions aside. But I'm sure you'll, you'll appreciate it once you get into your game. Did I just go to sleep and then wake up and start streaming again? No, um, I was gonna get breakfast with my brother, so I've, I've been up for a few hours. It's like 11 a.m. here, almost. So. But I, I had plans this morning. And it's uh, it's pretty miserable here. It's just constant rain and... There's nothing else to do. I've done my housework and all that stuff. So why not? Yeah. 
Ja. Okay, it's fine. But I mean, I'm, I'm hooked on the game, so... What is this? Bone? Spiny bone. I mean, it adds plus seven, that's pretty decent. <laughs> it looks so dumb, but okay. Chillin, please, out of the way. I already got a photo of it. What about you? Got a photo of you. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, Sandy, how's it going? Yeah, this is not usually a time I stream at, but I figured I got nothing else to do today and it's miserable outside and I've done all my housework. So, why not? What the heck is that? Are those explosives? No. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> that is indeed an explosive. <laughs> it didn't blow up right away, so I was like, what? Okay, what is this then? No, it was, it was they're explosives. Just a bit of a delayed effect. I want the horn at least. Okay, I'm going to look for the tower. Ah, shit, that was funny. You bought your friend some One Piece trading cards. You're out of town visiting your friend. Oh, cool. I've been watching One Piece. Been enjoying it so far. Wait, so, can I... I don't know why I have that shield. Let's make the Lionel shield, like the Edgelord shield. Is this gonna work? No. Aww. I thought I could make that into a shield. The game is ridiculously popular. What, the trading card game? I've never really gotten into TCGs, just because as a kid, couldn't have them. But, uh, I mean, I did open some Pokemon cards when they had their big anniversary. But I, I didn't play the game or anything. Apparently they can't keep them on the shelf, no kidding. I mean, there is a bit of a dopamine hit opening trading cards. Pretty large one. At that. Uh oh. No, it's fine. There we go. It comes with 24 packs. 12 cards per pack. Right, so you got one of the, uh, the, the boxes. I get what you mean. It's an expensive hobby, but it's fun. Then again, I guess streaming is a more expensive hobby. Ah, there it is. I need to murder more of these fire slimes. I think this whole thing that's going on with the Gorons is, is just a hundred percent their fault. This is just... 
Stupidity. Yeah, I mean, I'd be excited too. teaching about oh come on uh the i mean the game's fun it's just it's a zelda game of course it's gonna take my interest i've been into the series since the age of five i'll always make time for a zelda game But I mean, the level of detail they've put in it this time. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Ah, oh, shit. Rewind. Uh-oh. Is it gonna reset the ball? Okay, that's good. <laughs> I didn't realize that the ball wasn't completely flush. I just didn't want to jump and fall in. Yeah, that. See, I almost fell in. So there's hydrant items. Okay. <laughs> Is this even working? There we go. But... Okay, how am I gonna make this work? I think I need to do it against this wall here. That's better. Okay. Playing Zelda? Nice. Yeah, I'm finally doing this area. For like days of saying I would get here. Okay. Uh, is this the right way? No, this is the wrong way. So now I got up today, because I was going to hang out with my brother and have some breakfast, so I did that already. And since it's still pretty miserable here, I figure, why not make more progress? Oh, 
Jeez, I cannot I can already imagine what people are doing with this thing. Okay, if there is something that sprays out water, like a hundred percent someone's built a gigantic human-like figure that pees on people. How far is my brother into the game? So, my brother just got past the Rito area. So it hasn't uh, quite gone as far as me. And, uh... Somehow hasn't run into the hands. I don't understand how that that's a thing. Especially what he was describing, just where he's been. I'm like, how have you not run into hands yet? Um, but he's not playing it as quickly because... My niece is kind of being a little competitive, and he doesn't want to go too far ahead, so she doesn't get discouraged. But, you know, she wants to catch up to him. Apparently she likes to bully the goblins. <laughs> It's not surprising. There's still- yeah, okay, there's a tower. Bedrock Bistro. It's <laughs> the eyes. Look, I'm sorry I wasted it, but asking me to bring you another marble rock roast isn't reasonable. How about this instead? These mysterious things are only discovered after the upheaval. Looks a little strange, I know, but it's a hard curio to come by. Marbled rock roast is in short supply and in high demand around here. Everyone wants it. I've barely been keeping up. Letting our hardest commodity go to waste is unforgivable. You can make up for it by bringing me a fresh marbled rock roast. Now get that thing out of my sight. If I was able to get you some, I'd clearly have done it by now. I checked out the cave past the cart tracks, just like you told me. I couldn't get anything. You know, places like that are way too dangerous for a Hylian like me. Not my problem, and I don't want that hunk of junk. I'm not letting you off the hook till you get me a marbled rock roast. Meat for meat? Oh, hello. You look very... Ooh. Come here for Cook's famous culinary concoctions too. Recently, I heard about a rare delicacy being offered here known as marbled rock roast. I'm told it's indescribable. Don't eat it! <sighs> I interrupted my travels to come try it, but they're fresh out. Not sure edible rocks would appeal to a Hylian, though. Too much tooth crunch. Okay. Normally, there's a menu just for Hylians, but everyone, everything's sold out on that one as well. Seems like we're both out of luck, hmm? Oh, no. Is this going to be a thing where... I complete the quest, and then this dude's just gonna become corrupted. I don't know. I still think... The premise of what happens here, this is just stupidity. What was happening in the Rito village was, like, an unfortunate tragedy, and... You know, it's like, it's not their fault. Just this blizzard, this creature was causing this blizzard. <sighs> Yeah, this is- they're, they're just dumbasses. Like, one of them ate this radioactive-looking meat. And then, hmm, that's weird. This person's acting weird and has glowing red eyes. Oh, well, better eat it as well. Like, dickheads, all of them. <laughs> Whole lot of them, just dickheads. Could have easily been prevented. Just some self-restraint. <laughs> well, 
we'll see where this story goes anyway. Yeah, it looks busted. I don't know how big it would be. Okay. Oh. Ha, did you come out to see the sky view tower? Sorry, everything around here is a bit of a mess. A mess? A big chunk of the old ruins fell from the sky and hit the sky view tower. Ah. It knocked off the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. That means the hole at the top is open. That's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck too. Let's see, maybe if you use the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without a way inside, kind of stuck. Okay, there's, there's my answer. Perfect timing. Oh, wow. Attack plus 10. That's decent. Yeah, that's not worth it. That can stay there. <laughs> that was greedy of me. I was right, using the terminal did open the door. Thank you, that was a big help. Oh. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. Finally here. <laughs> After the three days of just getting distracted. I probably could have gone all the way over there. Okay. Serve battery. I want that. I'm 
taking that and commandeering it. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. I do like the Blood Moon effect here in the sky, it looks pretty cool. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Shit, turn it off. Sage as well, another one. If you offer four of them to a goddess statue, so I just need one more. Shield, that's why. <laughs> too close, too close, too close, too close. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my God. Jolin. <laughs> I heard the headshot. Wait, did Jolin kill it? 
Really? Chillin' got the kill. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know, like... Whatever I get for this area... It would have to be really damn useful for me to not use Chulin. I don't know. I, I can't see what could possibly tempt me away from using Chulin. It would have to be pretty decent. Also considering going to Akala since Akala is like right next door to this. Just to, I guess, get the travel medallion sorted. There's another diving thing over there. Okay, it's another water one. But, I mean... If I'm doing this, <laughs> I think we all know what I'm gonna do. Like, it just... Like, I appreciate what it wants me to do. I'm not doing it. Wow, that's a good bar. Plus ten. That's it? Wow, that's... Okay. I 
just need two pieces of it. One. Two, and we're good. Okay. There. Love the use of the reverse time ability, dude. This is <laughs> it's the most broken thing. You just need two platforms, and you know what the one the one platform version of this is? You can do it with one platform. With one platform, you lift it up into the air, and then you attach a rocket to it to send it even higher, and then when it falls back down to the ground, you reverse it, and you just keep attaching rockets or balloons, and you just keep sending yourself higher. With the two platform, you can reach the sky with two platforms. It's, it's, it's stupid, but I love it. <laughs> so good. Some sp some person would have spent weeks meticulously designing this uh this shrine, and then along comes an asshole like me, <laughs> just with two platforms, just skip everything. But I mean, that's the name of the game here, is like, you're supposed to be creative, so... I have an idea to make a weapon construct as well. Something to automatically fight for me, but it just hasn't completely worked out. But I think I have I have a, an idea that I want to try. Once I have the parts for it, I'm going to try it. Oh, speaking of parts, there's a parts dispenser here. Okay, I definitely want to partake in this. Big wheel, good. Battery, excellent. Hydrant. Fan, 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 battery. Okay. Oh no, I, d I definitely want to keep getting stuff here. There's batteries. This is an excellent dispenser. Wheels. Batter- yeah, this is a good one. I mean, there's hydrants, which I don't really care about, but... I think what I just got, batteries? Excellent. I have 11 batteries now. Awesome. Okay. I need to find one that dispenses um, ground steak. That's the only thing I'm missing from. 
to try the idea out because a lot of my devices they failed because they don't have uh they don't have a way to act as a counterweight and so they kind of flip over and i think the key to it is the ground stake i just need that contraption My trebuchet, I think if I would have had a couple of ground stakes, it would have worked. Uh, okay, so hang on, where is the little star island? Down there, okay. That's a Kala down there, right? No, that is... What is that? Oh, that's, um... That's Sora's domain over there. Yeah, I don't want to go there. Okay. There we go. That's another one. Uh, Akala is in this direction, I believe. Wait. That direction. Yeah, that's Akala Tower over there. I want to be heading to the, the lab. Oh, they've got a minecart leading up the mountain now. Might use some stamina recovery just to make sure I get over there. What have I got? That'll do. It's a cheap one. Oh, I forgot about. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll go back. I'll teleport back. But there was the dive challenge. Love the idea that it just eats a bunch of food and oh, okay, I can hold on for longer. Oh, we can visit Tarrytown as well. Because I believe there's something I need to do in Tarrytown. That there's more. It looks like Tarrytown has some buildings in front of it as well now. Oh wow. No, this is like a What is that? Did Tarrytown expand? Nothing on the roof. Oh shit, careful. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, it stole it.
Mister, you got the tower's terminal back. Let's install it. No time to waste. <laughs> I'll tie it in this and done. There, that's not going anywhere, even if a monster is real determined. I couldn't have done it without you. Really appreciate it. Since I'm here, may as well. That one's anything like the other one. I can't go there yet. Oh, I might not make this. Did I do any more tears? Not since yesterday, no. What is this Death Star looking <laughs> in the sky? I'll be able to get back up. Yeah, probably not. My only hope is there's something here at the bottom. Not. Okay, hold on. I see. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. This will work. has a chest strapped to its uh, back. Oh. I can make a little arena for myself. This is cool. I don't think I need it, but... this early. Yeah, I mean, I'm not usually on at this hour, but because I got up early today and went and had breakfast, decided to make a bit more progress. What? Ah. Oh. Pancakes? No, I had the... Uh, this is bakery. So I had this, uh. Like. It was a sandwich of sorts. I had two kinds of meat in it and then some cheese and a salad. It was good. And some coffee. And then I got some, uh. Like I got an almond croissant, uh. Donut, and what else? 
a cinnamon donut, and then this, like, cinnamon soil thing has, uh, walnuts on it. So they're kind of just there, if I want snack later. It's a pretty good bakery. This is the thing with stealth gear. Like, once you're in combat, it's superfluous. I need to be swapping to you. There we go. That was really good. I stayed on it the whole time. <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> that got me good. I win. Construct head. A zona device that always faces whatever deems in its way. Oh. It's like, make a sentry out of that. Uh... This. Yeah, I should make a strong weapon. Okay. Yeah, but I, I kind of ate shit a couple times. <laughs> Another old map. I should probably go, uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's just saying, hey, go to the depths. Should probably go to the depths at some point. Oh yeah, I found a copy of Pilot Wing 64 pretty cheap, so I'm happy with that. Just popped into a thrift store and it was there. They're like, oh cool. So that was nice. I never played the 64 version, but I was a big fan of the Super Nintendo one. Powerful flying machine. Oh, oh, this is not going to last very long. Two. Okay, four cells remain. Three. Two. 
to. One. Just go as far as I can with that. Is this? Yeah, I haven't explored the underground completely, so I should go back at some point. <sighs> oh yeah, I need to make more food. Another one of these ones. Okay, so that we don't have any stupid accidents happen, let's attach it to this. Then it doesn't fall off. to bring this with me now. Hang on. Before I hard commit, is it even here? This looks like it's just a chest. that now. Whatever it does, I can upgrade it. I haven't even found the gate for this, so let's just... even here. that'll do. We need to be at the ready for this to stop it, just in case. <laughs> Will this work? Okay. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, if I'm wrong about this, this was a waste of time, but no, I'm right. It's okay, it's here. <laughs> vanished. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> what the fuck? It almost screwed me completely. Yeah, don't don't put the crystal directly on top of where you're supposed to take it. We'll just throw it to the side. Oh man, that would have been bad. <laughs> it almost threw it off the edge. Oh dear. Of course, that, that can only happen to me. It's a very good one. Damn, I almost have enough for two more hearts again. Okay, looking at this, there's another picture I can take. Wait, there's another ball even higher up? I think I did this the wrong way. I think I was supposed to shoot myself in there with that. Also check out what the uh, little machine thing has to offer.
cart, cart. Homing cart. Steak! Oh, yes! This is the- okay. This is what I want. Okay, we need steaks. These are my counterweights. They're gonna make my creations actually work and not go flying everywhere. Curious, how much does a large one give you? <laughs> oh, a large one gives you just... Yeah, that's... This was a good one. So now we have... That's looking much better. Okay, I have an idea for something that'll fight things automatically. I'm just not sure if it'll work. But I'll try it at some point. <laughs> just not right now. Uh, that was a bad idea. No, chill it! I mean, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight it. But I'll at the very least get the shrine here. There's three shrines. Four shrines, wow. The music is getting uh, tense here. Seems important. I bet there's multiple of these. Oh, fuck. I'll be okay. I don't have many arrows left. I need to buy more arrows. Deity armor. That's cool. Found the second piece of it.
Okay, this is a cave, so this should be one of those things here. Shouldn't there be one? Hang on. Ah, here we go. There you are. Not yet. Hang on. That torch that I found, why? It had a special symbol on it. I want to see if there's any more. That stuff is just bad. I do find it funny. People in charge of guarding the royal family just have weapons that break easily. I wonder what that torch was about then, or is this just like a fake out? It seemed important. There has to be a second one. That just seems too distinct. For it not to be something. If it was more of a generic looking torch, I wouldn't be so fussed, but... The fact that it has the eagle statue from Hyrule Castle and the trifle symbol is just, okay, there's, there's something to that. Maybe there's more somewhere else. I'll do the shrine. But I'm highly suspicious of that. A prone pathway. This is trippy.
Okay. You know what? I desperately needed more arrows, so that's good. Reverse on this. easy. <laughs> Alright. One more. I'll be able to upgrade two hearts. There's one immediately around the corner, so. Okay, I want to see if this torch is still lit up. Right, so it persisted the fact that I lit this torch. That makes me believe that there's, there's something to this. If it wasn't something important, it probably would have gotten unlit, but it remained lit. So there's something to this. Oh, hold on. Doorbell's going off. I was expecting a delivery. Back in 30 seconds. It's raining outside, so I just had to make sure I got it indoors quickly. Yeah, hmm. Oh. Yeah, I doubt that's anything. Uh... I mean, I feel like I would have seen something else. Let me just look around. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, yeah, I probably don't want to. Don't want to. Don't want to mess with that. This, on the other hand. Oh no! Come on. Crap! It triggered the fight. Gotta be quick with this. What is doing this? Uh. Oh shit. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Great mechanic. Okay, there's a simple way to fix this. I mean, I could probably take it on. I just, I don't, I don't know. I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's just gonna eat up weapons. There's another bloopy there, by the looks of it. Okay, I need to be more inconspicuous. I need to go down lower. Yeah. There we go. That's better. So it was next to the boss. Ah, oh, crap, there's another one. Saw it on the bridge area. Yeah, okay, there it is. Looks like it's a base. Thank you. 
Probably shouldn't waste the arrows. This one, yes. Dodged it. Ah, there you are. <laughs> What? <laughs> Guard sword stick twenty six. Wait, so it's a stick with a sword on it? Um I mean I'll get rid of this. I, I just don't like the Royal Guard stuff. It just breaks way too easily. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't find another torch that looked like the one that I... I'll have one last look, but I think... <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's something. But this could be just one of these things that... It's making me believe it's more than what it is. Such, it's a such a Zelda one feeling thing. Just making me think that something that's most likely... I thought that got struck by lightning. Something that's most likely a dead end, just feeling like it's not a dead end. the shrine first. Oh no. 
I see. I see the Korok. Hey, I need to visit my friend. Help me. Okay. Oh, it's in the... Uh... There sure is a lot of stuff that is, like, even tied, but I guess it's more isolated. Okay. The hunt. I see what it wants me to do. I guess this is teaching about automation. This is not working. adjustments. I think I, I think what I need to do instead but no <laughs> it's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, hang on, I need to go to flat ground, otherwise it's just gonna not work. Okay, so now it's more of a wall that I can crouch behind. Trust in the system. <laughs> Shit. Can't trust in the system. Quickly. 
There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Now this buys me time. <laughs> to be honest, this is probably handled at this point. Seems like it's going well. Okay, this dickhead. I'm going to unleash it. Oh, you're fucked now. Oh, what? <laughs> one spraying water. <laughs> no, one is freezing. This is kind of cool. <laughs> this Get them, my minions. They don't give up. <laughs> they just keep going. Okay, we need to give it a hand here. There we go. I mean, I don't care, I'll just watch, it's fine. I'm alright with this. This is entertaining. That was fun. Also, this is what I wanted to get out of this as well. Make some... Yeah. <laughs> some strong weapons as a result of this. Love it. That's a... Uh, that... Yeah, that's sword. Oof, 50 damage. Love it. That's why I didn't use them, because I wanted to... Captain Spear 3. 
Well, I mean, this was a very good shrine. I got some very good weapons out of it. Good one. Okay, now I can go to the stable. This caught my attention. What is this? There's a Korok in the tree. <laughs> Why are they looking at a chicken? What are you doing? <laughs> My true love? What the fuck? Hmm, should I really ask about that? No, maybe not. But then again, hmm. Are you here for a prophecy from the all clocking... What? Get ready for your life to change. They say the chicken's word to always come true. Do you actually want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions and I need time to sort it out, which is us. Really, you'd be doing me a favor. Go ahead. Huh? Excuse me, my turn. Don't cut in front of others. I'm not. What is this? Huh? On earth? Well, go on. Ask your question! <laughs> Ask your question. I want piles of style. Are you done? Hmm. Maybe this is... Welcome to South Akala Stable. Brr. Do you like horses? I used to like bugs when I was little, but now I like horses the best. I'm practicing so I can be a horsey when I grow up. Hey, 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 mister. Did you come here? Come to hear the old Clock and Coco's prophecies. I came to ask if I'm going to be a horsey when I grow up, but since the old Clock and Coco is so popular, the wait is super long. It's three people. Oh, there we go. A prophecy. Oh! Hey, look at you, partner. I'll bet son up a scouting out leads. You remind me of me. So how about it? Tell me you've got something we can work with, no? I've got nothing either. Not a chirp, not a warble. Even if I strain the old ear holes. No, sir, not the slightest peep. Mm. So, what to do when our leads go quiet and luck runs out? I suppose we've got one last resort. A prophecy. A prophecy? Oh. Oh yes, it's come to that. Good thing there's one heck of a cooker around here that uh, speaks prophecy. I mean, we know it's hard to believe, but you've got to wonder. Ah. 
Look at that tree there, the one that leads up that hill. They say folks are lining up to hear those prophecies every day, hoping to have their fortunes told. Mm. I know what you're thinking, seasoned reporter like me hoping to get a lead from actual poultry. Well, hear me out. Those that flock up there for their fortunes, they might know the real story here. Interview them. I mean, okay, I kind of did, but okay. <laughs> they say the old clock and cuckoo's prophecies are always right, so I gotta ask if I'm gonna be a horsey when I grow up. Okay, I mean, oh, there you go. Ooh. Hey there, fella. So, checking out my fancy duds, I bet. Stylish, right? I'm a little late to fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide oh. open now. I was heading east to Tarrytown since I'd heard celebrity designer Cece was influenced by someone there. But when I heard about the Oracle here, I had to stop by and see for myself if it's the real deal. And buddy, it's as real as can be. Here's the prophecy I got. On a remote island to the northeast, thou will find great fortune. Tarrytown will have to wait. I have an island to go to. I just hope great fortune means treasure trove full of clothes. I have so many questions to ask. I need a bit of time to narrow them down. Don't worry about me. You go ahead. What is this? Thy name? What is thy name? Ah, I sense that you're Link, and you're searching for someone. Ah, yes, Princess Zelda. What? I know all, and what I know is that will face trials that will reveal much to you. So, will you take these trials? I'll try it. Very well. The first trial is... Get to the top of that stable's head within the time limit. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. Oh, what the fuck? What? 40 seconds, okay. Oh no, no chill on allowed, shit. Oh, that's not fair. Wow, not allowed, not allowed. There we go. Perfect. You finished. Good job with that trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that was going to happen, so... Thou, yes, thou, are ready to face the next trial. And if thou overcome it, thou will find what thou seeketh. So are you going to try it or what? Very well, the second trial is... Bring three logs within the time limit. Okay. I don't have an axe. My axe broke. <laughs> it's not an axe. <laughs> Shit. This one was the axe, okay. There we go. I'm sure there's leeway here. So, you tired yet or what? You've got to be worn out. Well, it's been entertaining. So now you have so trusting. Can't believe you fell for this. Talking chicken, don't be ridiculous. Now that you're worn out, we've got you right where you want to. Everyone, get him and finish the job, Yiga. Wow. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
pretty funny. <laughs> Damn! Double kill. <laughs> Alright, you're dead now. It's no use, Link. I won't let you escape. What? What happened there? Ugh. We'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. How did that Yuga disguise themselves right. as a chicken? Hey there. There's my partner. Ah. I was just giving a good long thing to the old cl clucking cuckoo situation when I saw everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? Hmm. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a cuckoo couldn't yap to save its life, but I didn't suspect this was a Giga Clan trap. Those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that one. But at least this will make one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in the cuckoo's prophecies... People need to know the truth, or else they'll fall for more of these lies in the future. Oracle's my tail feathers. We've worked together to chase seven of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. You've really gotten the hang of things. You could probably get a full-time job at the paper if you wanted to. Go on, add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, oh that's right. Tracy had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. 20. Oh. Anyway, get a load of this... Get a load of you giving us a big scoop and those Yiga adults a healthy clobbering all in the same day. Not bad for a day's work. You keep that up and we'll have no choice but to keep you on as a as my partner for a long, long time. But if not for growing, if I want to meet my deadline, I'd better get back to the office and start writing this up. See you, kid. Ah. Soar along. Okay. There's a well here as well. That's it. Just this chicken in a well, huh? It's a real chicken. Nothing else here. Okay. I'll see if Beetle is here and try and get more arrows. Hello, welcome to South Akala Stable. Sorry, I was lost in thought here. I was wondering why so many people are so interested in that. That beast is stuff of rumors and is apparently found in the South. Huge tusk creature. Gotta be made up, right? Okay. Good room around the horse. Yeah. Okay. Not a quest. Meat, butter, wheat, milk. No beetle? Oh, no beetles here. What? I found this old deposit, so I'm gonna smash it and get the gems inside. My hands are a little sweaty, so my grip's not as firm as usual. Otherwise, I'd have busted it by now. Uh. What's with that look? You don't think I can do it? Fine. Then let's make it interesting. If you can break this ore deposit in one strike, I'll give you all the gems that come out. Step that up if you got guts. Pretty confident in my skills with the sword. Can't even make a dent. Break it in one strike. <laughs> that wasn't one strike. All right, you're done. Ah. Okay. <laughs> really? Ah. <laughs> 
it! Really? What the fuck? I should probably save so I don't mess up my item durability. Okay, let's try a, the claymore. There it is. Oh, come on. How? How? I was joking when I said to break it in one go. Came much short because I was only using arm muscle, but you? You use your brain muscles. Now all I can do is admit you won. Congratulations. That was the perfect strike. The gems are yours, as we agreed, and you've inspired me to get more creative with my weapon designs. I don't know if that was worth it, but sure. Okay. Oh, it's the president. What on earth is this abomination? What, what kind of sign is that? Surely that should work. Hang on. What? No. It's still gonna fall, it's, it's just this, this is on a weird angle. sign. <laughs> that is such an impractical design. going on over here this is a mini game
These look like landing spots. Construction site. Okay. Never mind. It's, this is an expansion of Tarrytown. Hey there, you just passing through? Mind if I yammer at you for a sec? I've heard things have gotten pretty bad in Goron City. The workers aren't working, including my pals at Unobico, who live to work. Do you know what's going on over there? I'm worried. Never heard of Goron City? Okay. Yeah, I guess I have to finish. Working in the... Huh? Who are you? This is a Hudson construction site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Not to mention the following ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You shouldn't be here. Critical work. Zona artifacts full. Here more than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Look, see? Only three have been found on the surface. To someone on the, to, on the Zona survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials falling into your lap. Incredible. Um, anyway, this is a Hudson construction mm. site. Ooh. We're going to Tarrytown. It's a bit slow, but clever. <laughs> I probably could have got enough here on my own. There's a cave underneath. Wait, I can't. I don't have children. Okay, now I can. Harry Town Tunnel. usually lead somewhere. <laughs> Maybe Hudson's busy. Okay. Son and done. Oh, they had a kid. <laughs> How far into the future is this? Sasava. Hey, mister, are you a friend of Papa's? He was gone for a long time, but now he's back home. I'm gonna be moving soon, so I gotta make sure I play a popper on every son, else a whole bunch while I still can. Moving soon? Oh. Just yesterday she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand, I know you're worried about Madison moving. But Nari told me that Madison has been acting really cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Oh. Please, if you keep acting like this, it'll only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. You're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, a customer. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. A unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry. We're not ready for open business. Wait, it's you. Look who it is, it's been a while. You know, thanks to you, Tarrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, we have a daughter, looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. My little Mattison. 
Hudson, you've got to get it together. Oh. Sorry, uh, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. But don't worry. I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence. You appear to be worried about something. Oh. We were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say it's sun and done. And here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive, but when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Child? I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but... I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Ah, sorry you had to listen to me go on like that. I really should get back to my... Back to the job site oh. soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too. What, with preparing Madison for the move? She's busy, so she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison, so she wouldn't feel so lonely. I don't know, man. <laughs> They're living so far away from the town and for them to, like, come in and force stuff like this, really. Yeah, it just makes me, makes me not like that town even more. <laughs> well, hello there. It's an honor to see your face with my eyeballs once again, and on such a pretty, pretty day, no less. You met again with my younger brother, Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. He's a bit eccentric, I know, I know, but I hope you'll find your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. But once I saved up a tight little nest omelet, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can, at last, make a real, make real a dream I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of construction is very busy and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck in my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. <laughs> Ugh, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I've adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monsters? Disgusting. But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know, monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood, the way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all the land, Hudson. As soon as Hudson is done with his other business, he must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has seen before. Okay, where's the kid? Ooh. Oh. I see you're accustomed with some taste. Am I right that this is your first time in our shop? Good choice, but in case you missed it, we also carry monster extract now. That's right, I'm proud to be the only merchant who sells monster extract. My main business used to be things you can attach to arrows for a little extra oomph. But a contact of mine helped me source monster extract, and now I have that sideline too. If you're interested, I can hook you up. Sign and done. Oh. Definitely the two most useful things here. Okay. There's a crystal here. Uh, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is going to give me the creeps. I gotta find a sucker too. Hmm? Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use a rail car that'll collect you. 20 rupees, no expe exceptions. But you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited ride. That's a bug. How about it? What's that rock? 
Oh, oh you're interested in this rock. I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole... I mean, I took it as a memento. But if you're interested, you can tear it for an introductory price. Not that price. How about 80 rupees? Can you go lower? Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60. No, 50 rupees are more than fair price. But I already said an absolute fair price. And he might have... Okay, no need for the stern wife look. Uh, what do you say? It's a real deal. It's just 50. I'll pass. Oh. Of course he isn't going to buy... After you insulted him with such a high price. Hudson made this town so that everyone could live in peace here. Do... Anything to harm that beautiful vision, you won't get away with it. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. Okay, 50's lost, you can go. I'll buy the rock. I'm actually gonna buy this weird rock. It's my lucky day. That's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you made a wise decision. Rock belongs to you, no refunds. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to your new home. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know where I'm taking it, though. You have a sage as well. I can make your bond with a sage stronger. Oh. I mean, I guess. Let's just do it. I like chillins anyway. A higher attack power for chillin. I'm just not replacing Chulin <laughs> by the looks of it. Now it's just like, well, I'd be getting an inferior one, unless the ability is that good. But Chulin is now more OP. Person's just trying to rip me off. Hey, hey, what? I've paid for this. Legitimately, at the pay to use this thing. I just, I, I have my doubts. It just seems like a scam. I mean, this, the language the dude was using was just a scam. Hmm. 
Might have to pay the price. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. Okay. What are you doing? I was trying to use it, it just wouldn't move. Or do I need to attach the battery? There we go. Ooh, ooh, it's struggling. I guess I have to do this. Let's have a good look around here. I think it's down here. see anything that would be a drop-off point. Fenderson, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control? What kind of fools do you take us for? Uh... You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before, I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of Zonai devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true, we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles, but that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. Uh... Zo, what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Hmm. You found nothing among these Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Tarrytown work. Ah. Hey, 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 I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say those Zo thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You trying to tell me that something that old and run down is still useful? Please. Oh. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. 
Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shabon? Oh. Hmm, fine. If Tyler wants to help, then help is what we'll do. now that vehicle's a prototype please don't touch it hold on what incredible just look at it it's perfect i have no doubt that zona device was made for steering ah sorry for shouting are you new to hudson construction my name is Ferneson. i'm collaborating with hudson on a zona device research project it's a pleasure to meet you but more importantly this zona device of yours it seems like it could could be used for steering things doesn't it please could you show us exactly what this device is capable of I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make that huge contraption move. Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Uh, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything set for a test drive. Mm. Let's see. Hmm, I think I flipped the switches here, here, and here, and yes. Ah. Ta-da! It's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them. So here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that and we call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, we'll have another vehicle built. And one that's completely different from the balloon. I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far. You won't be able to retrieve the diet, driving data if you do that. Yeah. Okay. Everything is ready. Okay. Let me quickly remind you of the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip it. Oh shit, it's in reverse. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Hold on. What? Can I adjust it? That's That's so stupid. Are they gonna yell at me? Okay, good. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, let's try again. I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be sealed so easily. Who, ah. technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tally? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Zonai device's full capabilities. And, ah, uh, I'm counting you to help me out. Please consider this as a down payment. <laughs> now you're an official member of the team. Also, you're welcome to have this. It's a sleepover ticket for a stable. The closest one is probably South Akala. Oh. Okay. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get work on the next phase of our project. Hope you're excited as I am. Yeah. See, the vehicle is up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start on the Tarry Town Race Project, and I can finally do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing the test course. Uh -huh. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. 
The Tarrytown race. Hmm, yes, I am looking forward to it. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of... I think I should go search for this thing first. And not just carry it around. I didn't... It would have to be nearby, so it wouldn't make me carry it too far away. Council of the Town, so Chulin's not here. Yeah, I would have thought the gate for this would have been nearby. Not a sign of something. Oh. Are you interested in this too? Oh. Look at this. Seems like there might be things inside. I wonder how we can get them out. Okay. Well, let's not waste too much on this. steering wheel of a car. That's what those things are. There are Zona devices inside that thing. I think, yes. I think, I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery, probably. And the constructions like this one have shown up in places other than just Tarrytown. Kakariko Village in the clue to south of here has one. And there's also one in the southwest too, a dig dog bridge near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Could it be that the type of Zona devices inside each area's contraptions are different? Oh. Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremonially, ceremonially award you for your big discovery. Oh. oh. Okay. It's uh, rare and was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties remain a mystery. Oh. Okay. More tutorial content. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where my companion rock goes. I'll bring that with me. 
I mean, the fact that this struggled to move while this was on it, it's probably a sign that it shouldn't be down here. Here, I've got a white. I'll just place it down up here and then I'll go walk. Uh, what? It vanished. Oh, it's there now. Okay. Whatever. I've purchased it, so it's mine. It's just, just gotta find out where it belongs. I would have thought somewhere here in this town or nearby, but maybe not. Hello, and you are you ready for your habitation dreams to come true? Your interests, you're in luck. We're building dream homes. This plot will soon become a first rate home with sweeping views of a color. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hefty price tag, but I assure you, every rupee is well worth it. To learn more about this incredible opportunity, just head northwest to Tarrytown. The Korok down there. I wonder if it's in that tunnel I was in. Ah, oh, it's another one of these. Okay. Vehicles. Good stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna bother with this, but let's try. Oh, 
That really did not do as much as it should have. Uh oh. <laughs> the road kill strategy is not working. You know what? I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that. Let's just Oh why? see the point to the vehicle thing. This is gonna take too long. taken too long. <laughs> I got the spirit of what it wanted me to do, but uh But honestly much rather make weapons out of this stuff. <laughs> Just this spiky broom looking thing. It looks so, so ridiculous, but I like it. about magic rod. We're fine.
There we go. Shrine of Light nearby. I mean, I still don't know what this thing is. That's the only other place is that tunnel. <laughs> Maybe there's more to that tunnel. I know I'd be cruel enough to make me take it back up to the sky. It just seems insane. Let's have a look. All these signs. Ma. Oh, thank you. Not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So, I cut out was blocking the door. Appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move these out the back so they can't block the door again. <laughs> Phew, that should do it. Oh. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them too. I can keep these. Wait, what's this? <laughs> so if you want to mess around. Okay. Interesting. There's probably a reason. Just, 
don't see anything nearby where I'd be able to place that. I would have thought for sure I was used as a convenience teleport to the town, but... Not allowed inside the house, apparently. Oh, wait. Disregard. Aww. Good morning, is Savata, and good day, Savak. And goodbye, is. What is goodbye? Huh? Aww. Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've made it my Miss Son to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words with me too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to give a lesson to Granny Minari. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Follow me. Granny Minari, Sava Saba. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. It's time for another lesson. Of course, and it's a special occasion because a new student is joining the class. Okay, pay attention, Granny Minari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What's the Gerudo word for Granny? Granny and Gerudo is. Oh, fuck if I know. Baba. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You're really good. Maybe you've done this before. Oh, yes, Baba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Now there's one more Gerudo speak around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if every son can, take, can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. Hey, Magic Moo, thank you for the raid. How's it going? <laughs> I've got it. Papa's always so busy. I'll just make it my Miss Son to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. <laughs> How's it going? It's going well. I got up pretty early, had some breakfast, and figured I'd progress in this more. But yeah, how about yourself? Oh, Madison, she's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Okay. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construct son side and help him get his work done, but I forgot that guy won't be give permission until I pay him. Aww. I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard without him noticing. How am I gonna do that all by myself? Someone to cover his eyes. Cover his eyes, you say. <laughs> I 
That's not gonna work. <laughs> He's panicking. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. box them in. Wait, sir? Okay. That, that, that. Gone. You can go now. Huh, mister, did you do that? Kind of nervous about it, but I'll trust you. I'll run straight there. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I love it. I did it, my missile was a success. Yeah, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my missile. <laughs> Is he still here? He's still here. All all's well. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> sure. I still don't know where to take that rock, though. I haven't seen a spot for it. Hmm. Alright, let's follow the kid. Someone there? Oh. oh, it's you. So you know I've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Mattison. Ooh. And well, what I came up with is this. Gerudo Town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Mattison her own special hot air balloon. But I want to make it really special, something just for her, not just sure how to do that. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun? That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen sunderlines around here. I could use them to make a dye. Bet I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something, I need ten of them. Okay, that's easy. Don't worry, I've seen a sunderline before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. Sky, huh? Here you go. Ooh. 
Huh? That's awesome, you did it. You really and truly collected ten of them. What's this? You found them all for us. Looks like I'll have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Aw, oh, I wasn't any help at all. I failed my mission. That's not true, Matteson. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? I will, I will, papa. I'll make sure you make the sun something like that. <laughs> Quick and quality blink and we're done. That's why every son choosing Hudson construction. Oh. And it's done. And morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a little longer. Oh. Hudson. Mm. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? Her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. I see. All right. Let's all go together, then in Madison's special balloon. Would you join us as well? <laughs> wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. Oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from the site. Hey everyone, take a look at that. The sun is waking up. It's a blessing. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Tarrytown, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. The only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts, so you see your mama will always be beside you. We'll be touching down soon. Hold down tight. Trying to spot out. <laughs> There's a spot for the rock. I still don't see a spot for this rock. <laughs> Papa, your present may be very happy. Matheson, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any. Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Matheson, it is time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. You can trust me, I'll take care of your papa and mama, don't worry, you can go. Go, become a wonderful Vi, and come back with lots of stories to tell. Can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, Everson, I mean Soxo. Oh. I'm going to become a great Vi like mama. I'll meet a wonderful Vo like Papa. Hi! Savork, every son. I don't like the premise of this. <laughs> it's just... These Gerudo... Guards pretty much come and take children away. Because it's like, yes, they must grow up. And then go and find the man. It's just, okay. Did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. Ahem. Okay, I am ready. Because Ooh. tradition. Ah, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunderlines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of th saying thank you, please take this. Oh. And this is from me. Okay, good. Ooh. You've already helped me so much, but if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Matheson. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that vote aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> You mean, still, I'm still not allowed in that town after I saved the town, after I saved their precious heirloom, after I made friends with their leader, after I stopped disaster from their civilization, I am still not allowed in that town. <laughs> now I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? This is why I don't like the Gerudo town. It's just... <laughs> just so ungrateful. <laughs> I just don't understand. 
You do everything in your power to help them, and then by the end of Breath of the Wild, they still kick you out of their town. I thought for sure that there might be growth to their story, and maybe, oh, let's change our ways. Link was a good dude. We'll let him in from now on. Nope. I'll save the world a second time, and they'll still kick me out of their city. That's, that's great. Just checking a suspicion. Okay, no, there's nothing on top there. Uh, I don't know what to do with this stuff. <laughs> I haven't found anything. I suppose it'll be here. It's just... I thought it was going to be fairly obvious. Okay, I guess I'm done here for now. I'm going to go to a car lab. like this was not here before Nothing? Okay. feeling it's going to be cruel and make me go to the sky to take that stone back. That's the only possibility. It's just, it's really going to make me do that. Okay, well there's a couple of shrines back to back here. Combat training sneak strike. Okay. Well, this will be fine then. Approach the enemy's back without being noticed. Deal a surprise attack. Other attacks are ineffective. Ready yourself. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's effectively chasing it, but I don't care.
Well done. Approach the patrolling enemies back unnoticed and deal a surprise attack. There's probably another one before Carla Lab. I'm thinking if I should go to the Shrine of Wisdom. Is that Wisdom? No, it's Power. It's like, right, it's right next door. got here this time. Without swordsman who offers his prayers, I can no longer sense the presence of the mother goddess statue with, which dwells in the vast canyon. I gather that you know something of this. I do. The mother goddess statue is a towering sculpture who served us as a model for the rest of us. She dwells in a forgotten temple by all, resting at the end of a deep canyon. I know that one. It is true, then. The goddess statue in that canyon was toppled. These are ill tidings, devout swordsman. That is the Mother Goddess statue. I employ you to help restore her. Seek out the Red Spirit Dinroll. Dinroll's claw. Okay. I don't think I have Din. I think the only claw I have is the Wisdom Claw. So I guess if I go to the one of Wisdom, I can get whatever it is. And it 
doesn't look like there's a shrine here. At least not yet. Hmm. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Gotta try and avoid that. That happened in Breath of the Wild. I think it's the same pig as well. There's a pig that killed me here. That's a, uh, yep, that's a Yiga trap. <laughs> See that clear as day. Gee, I wonder what those bananas are gonna do to me. You're here. I should have known you'd come to this stable too. Anyone with a beak for sniffing out news can tell this place has potential. A god of horses, suspicious events at a nearby laboratory. We could ink a week's worth of issues about the goings on in this place alone. But I have bad news. And the headline is no leads on princess at this stable. No chirps, no warbles, nothing. Pains me to leave knowing how many articles I could have hatched here. There's nothing to do but take wing and head for another stable. Anyway, off I go. So long. Okay. I just I need more arrows. Wow. Uh definitely got these. Yeah. Okay. I can make an elixir with them later. Just how long are they going to stay here? And they may have spotted us spying on them from a cliff. What should I do if they come all the way up here? Hmm. Hmm? Ah, sorry, I didn't see you there. I've been preoccupied with the monsters that have settled on North Akala Beach below the kill cliff. Thinking about what would happen if they came up to the stable has me worried. I can't even focus on my work. I've been trying to find someone to go drive them off, but everyone I've asked refused to help. 
It seems that kind of skill and confidence is in short supply. Anyway, do you see the big tree over there? Ah. If you look down from the cliff, you can probably see the monsters. It's an intimidating sight for sure. Mm. Everyone keeps saying not to worry, that they won't come all the way to the stable, but I'm not so sure. I don't think I'll be able to relax until those monsters are gone for good. Okay. Oh. Skarok <laughs> over there. Where is your friend? Down the hill, I imagine. Ah. Oh. Let me do the shrine first, because then I can just teleport back here. Hmm, that's an unusual weapon. Where'd you get it? I made it. No kidding, I make weapons too. I've been using all sorts of materials, trying to make the strongest weapon in the world. Tell me something, have you ever heard of a monster they call a Lionel? It's a huge beast with a body like a horse. You wouldn't believe how many times I've seen someone try to ride on a Lionel's back only to go flying. I actually spotted one of their kind northwest of here, near the entrance to Tempest Gulch. But I wasn't about to pick a fight with a monster like that. Strong and agile? Did I mention they can shoot fireballs? The best I could do was turn tail before it caught sight of me. If only I could get a hold of that Lionel's horn. Okay. I have one, though. I think I have to find that one specifically, but okay. I do have a Lionel horn already. Oh, there's a well here as well. Kind of a surprise. Any different, or is it just straight up just a statue? Okay. Just a statue. That's cool, though. Uh. <laughs> no. Have they taken over the lab? <laughs> Looks like the horse fairy is just around the corner as well. Courage to pluck. <laughs> like a Jenga tower? Good stuff. Is it gonna reset it? Yeah, it resets the whole thing. But I mean, okay, I, I know what it wants me to do. But I don't have to do it that way. 
Pretty slow. Ah! For fuck's sake. <laughs> I just need two pieces, that's all. Any two pieces. That's annoying. Take the bottom. Okay, there we go. Alright, that- No! Oh! I was tipping. Okay. That's it. I'm- I'm not- I'm not messing with this. Once again, someone went to a painstaking effort to design this puzzle. And, you know, I'm sure it's great and all. I'm sure it's great and all. It's great and all. <laughs> what? Did they put an anti cheese mechanic here? Like, if I step on that, I'm screwed. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I can't. They don't let you step on it. I think I can still do what I wanted to do. I just have to be a bit more careful about it, but I can do it still. I just have to place it down instead of dropping it. Actually, just solving the damn puzzle. All right, this should work. Got you. Ah. There we go. I'm gonna get the treasure chest, so. I mean, same thing, just do this. It's pretty funny that they don't let you step on it, but still cheesable.
Okay. I got the feeling this is just going to be Yiga infested. Ah, oh, the dragon! Yo, I need your claw. Is this possible to do? Hang on. Uh, it'd be coming out of that hole at about 9 p.m. Damn it. <laughs> this is sign dudes here as well. bit light for the claw. Okay, let me rest at the stable. Suppose I may as well do this. Why? It was just there. <sighs> Maybe? Snapping is... I don't want it to snap. Okay. Let's try it. Ah. It's going to fall forward. <laughs> ah! Sure. Yeah, this this is going to work. No, trust, trust me, this is going to work. Uh, mm -hmm. See? <laughs> uh. 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 <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I need to make a... Oh yeah, the Korok. Oh, man. Okay, uh... Rest till night. And then hopefully I can get the dragon. I need to head down in that direction anyway for the Korok. the straightforward. <laughs> Just the straightforward. <laughs> Let's 
straightforward device. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Not that way. Okay, go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> I just. <laughs> the car go? Where, where'd you go? Still alive, still alive, it's fine. Ow! Chillin'. Thank you. Okay, right to safety. angled the wrong way. Oh, uh, is it because, okay, the Korok is like, yeah, it's causing that. It's <laughs> Dude, come back. Rewind. Okay, there we go, there we go. Nailed it. The dragon didn't appear either. It's not like Breath of the Wild where you, you know the spot and then farm them. Oh shit. Ooh, almost walked in there. Okay. Oh crap, it's coming. Go, go, go. Where's it headed? Had ravioli's power right now would work. That's the palace. Hmm. Seems to just be going up higher and higher. Okay, it's heading for that Sky Island. Oh shit! This might be what I need. Quick! Go, 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 go! be able to get the claw. It's fine. Go. No, I want to be... Ooh. 
I don't have burn protection. It's fine. Just get the shot. What? What? Why is it not working? There we go. What happened? I got it now. It's fine. Ooh, this is way more dangerous than it used to be. I can't be near it. I have to be wearing heat protection armor. Okay, but I got the claw. as well, right? A precise strike. Hmm. It's not a golf one. This is a massive step up from what stasis ones used to be. Ah, that's better. Wait, that's it? Okay, and there's another room over here. Alright, it's the same thing but moving target. Damn it, nearly. It went green for a bit. Almost got it first try. Hey!
how far into the game I'm in. I have no idea, because I, I, it's the first time playing it. Don't know how much is left. Not keeping count either, so no idea. Really? But I've been playing it since it released, so... Like, I haven't looked at how long the game is, or how many shrines, or whatever. There are total. I'm just playing it. Damn, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Okay, hold. Too early. I mean, I bet this is worth it. Stop. Got it. No, come on. Stay it. <laughs> Got it. Okay, what is it? Ooh. Okay, hang on. What am I going to swap for it? Probably that. All right, I'll make a better weapon. How much of an improvement is the sequel? It's a big improvement. I mean, the first one just set a foundation. This one pretty much realizes that foundation properly. I think I have enough for another heart now. Yep. What are the big changes? I mean, go watch the trailer and you'll see the big changes. Like... <laughs> uh, there's too much to talk about. And it'd just be rehashing stuff I'd, like, said so many times already. The trailer does a pretty good job. The one talking about, like, the gameplay mechanics. I mean, even just watching me play for a little bit, you'll notice things that are way different.
All right, I think I'm just gonna visit this shrine and then just wrap it up because I gotta get some food. Just drop off this claw. Okay. Uh... Then there we go. Thank you, devout swordsman. I've sent a measure of strength, to the Mother Goddess statue, for this pious deed. I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. Really? Ugh. Okay. Well, that's that done. I was expecting more out of that side quest. Uh, I guess I'll travel here and then we'll leave it. All right. Well, chat, I'm going to go get some food, but uh, I'll be back later and we'll do the usual evening stream. But I just wanted to progress a bit in this region because I haven't done much of it. So now this is better. But yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll uh, pick this up in the evening and continue through the rest of the Akala and then head to the second area, so should be fun. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go eat.